Hi. So, yeah. Um, if you can't already tell by the title, there have just been some things that have been weighing heavily on top of me for quite some time. And I'm not even sure if I'm even going to post this video only because the fact that I'm still a booktube YouTube newbie and the fact that um, I'm not even sure I'm not even sure if people even care about just everything, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. So this morning I woke up and right before I went into work, I logged on to Twitter as I was, you know, eating breakfast, part of the daily, my daily situation. And, um, I noticed through my timeline that there has been like this canceling of the reading rush at like the very end um, because on Sunday, yesterday, because yesterday was the final day of the reading rush and um, I just noticed all of like this cancel culture situation that has been going on once again. And so before I said anything or even tried to accumulate or even form my own opinion, I just wanted to see what was going on. Um, also because I'm just kind of nosy, <laughs> but I saw that the hosts of The Reading Rush, um, for one of like their little book club situations, um, first and foremost, please forgive me because I'm still learning all of this stuff and everything. But I saw that the hosts of The Reading Rush um, were supposed to talk about this, um, book who was written, that was written by a Black author, and it was supposed to be a part of their book club, and during their live stream, it was shown, and many people were saying how um, they kind of like just laughed it off because they didn't read it, and Basically, people, a lot of people took it as performative um, allyship. And I can honestly get where people are coming from, especially in this very triggered climate that each and every single one of us are living in today. We don't need any more of that fake allyship, friendship, you're going to be with us only because we don't want to lose you as a number type situation. Like that, I absolutely don't agree with whatsoever. Um, we see it in these big businesses. We see it everywhere because as always, the world is has and continuously runs on money and numbers. It all comes down to like that very root of the love of wanting money, be it with these big companies or being this presence on social media and wanting to and wanting to be known and famous and all of that situation and in all honesty i'm sick and tired of it and i'm not saying that what the hosts did if this was their true intent i'm not saying that what they did wasn't wrong because as a black person as a person of color yes 
we are seriously tired of that fake allyship that people in this world continuously try to press on top of us. If you're not going to be with us, then just don't be with us. Point blank, period. Like it's, we're done. Just, just stop. Show your true colors and walk on because we've survived thousands upon thousands of years without your your fake love and your fake allyship and we will continue to survive and strive. But what I also cannot and I also will not hop on this bandwagon is cancel culture. I truly am and I will forever be thankful that not a single one of us are God because if any of us were, we would be in even more serious trouble than we are right now. Like, I am not going to sit here and preach to any single one of you um, because I'm not, I'm not perfect, but I will never, ever, ever operate in hate or canceling somebody because they made a mistake. If, the, if that person or that company or whatever is seriously repentant in their actions of hatred or whatever their sin or whatever their mistake was, I believe in the power of redemption. I thoroughly believe in forgiveness and I always will and I will always be thankful for that. But canceling people, you're basically throwing them into a pit and burying them. And I don't understand that. Basically what you're doing when canceling somebody, you're also showing your own hatred. You're showing that people have no room to grow. People have no room to learn anymore from their mistakes. And I honestly, and I never will understand that. Why? I, I, I don't, I don't get it. People go around acting like They've never once made a mistake in their life. And I'm just like, aren't you human like the rest of us? I don't know. Like it really, really burns me up to the point where like I literally just don't have words anymore. Like. I like I said in the beginning, like I have just been sitting on this for so long because I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I can't even form words anymore because I'm just like, I literally feel myself on the inside. Just get that upset because I'm just like, people don't have to act this way. What we should be canceling is police brutality. What we should be canceling is hatred. What we should be canceling is oppression and anything else that doesn't act or walk in love whatsoever. I don't understand how people can sit here and operate on a day-to-day -day basis on hatred and just canceling somebody because they made a mistake. I'm not saying that there shouldn't be a consequence for their actions no, because there is a consequence for every single action, whether good or bad. And people need to be held accountable for their actions, especially when it comes to police brutality, especially when it comes to hatred and just anything else that just operates within that aspect and within that realm. However, None of us have none of us have the authority or the room to judge somebody else like in that aspect. Not a single one of us. Because I know for a fact that neither you that neither me or anybody else here on the face of the earth right now is Jesus. So yeah, like I don't know, man. Like, I I really don't know anymore. And, like, I need to stop getting 
myself so upset because I know for a fact that I can't change the world, but it's just the fact that I know that this world can be so much better if we would just get back to that root, which is love. If we can just get back to that root of love and, and loving our neighbor and, and yeah, but, um, Yeah, that's, that's all I got. Like, I just, I just ask and I just hope that we can get to a place where we aren't so filled with hate and negativity ourselves that we have to just continuously give that out. And, and yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I hope you guys have a good week. That's it.